Hi and welcome to another bulletin from me here at Solid Gold. Today I've been in Bamborough, you can probably see the castle there behind me, um, filming for episode 10, doing the drone footage actually. Um, so all the filming is now done for episodes 8, 9 and 10. Of course, episode 10 is not due for release, um, at least until uh, beginning of July. So that gives you an idea of how far in advance the filming is from the release date. Anyway, that's not the main reason for this particular bulletin. Um, I wanted to share a little bit of um, news with you that um, happened on Tuesday. So on Tuesday this week, I was actually doing the drone work for Sea Houses, which is also in episode 10. And it was a fantastic day, even better than today. I mean, today's got a blue sky, um, but there's a bit of a pesky breeze coming in off the North Sea, which is just too cold for sunbathing, shall we say. But Tuesday was glorious, absolutely glorious. And in all my 60 odd years of living on the Northumberland coast, I have never seen the North Sea as flat and as calm as it was. I mean, it was literally like a pond. So I hadn't intended going out on the boat um, because I didn't think I would have time. Um, I'd actually booked me ticket um, for today. Um, knowing that I was coming up to Bamborough anyway. But I actually changed the ticket because the opportunity to go out to the Farne Islands in, on such a, a beautiful day with such perfect conditions was just too good to miss. So the um, company that I booked with kindly swapped me ticket. Um, and I sort of set off from the shore at precisely 2.15, which was the last sailing of the day. And I can honestly recommend this um, uh, if you're coming to this area. I mean, you've got to do the boat trip um, because it's absolutely fantastic. Even though you're not allowed on the islands at the moment because of the bird flu, um, the boats get right up to the birds. I mean, you're literally a matter of feet away. And the birds are so used to um, the boats being there, they, they don't budge, so I mean, they don't fly off. So photographers, ornithologists, um, you know, it's an absolute perfect um, opportunity. Anyway, um, a jolly time was had by all um, and the boat set off back for the mainland. We were just about to tie up at the harbour side and the skipper got a message from one of the other boats that a school of dolphins had arrived between the islands and the mainland. So he promptly turned the boat around, uh, much to everybody's delight, and went back out and we were out there for an extra hour and a half. Now, the trip I was on was supposed to be a two hour trip around the islands. Um, and you get to see the island, both islands that Grace Darling in, inhabited, um, where the famous shipwreck was. I'd been filming like crazy with me gimbal camera. And as Sod's Law would have it, just as we were a turning round to go back out and see the dolphins, the blinking battery ran out and there's, it's not easy charging these. You've basically got to plug it in at home and um, you know wait for it to recharge. So in desperation, I pulled out my phone. Thank goodness I've got a, a reasonably new phone. So the quality on the phone is almost the same as the gimbal camera. And we chased these dolphins up and down for a good hour and a half. 
and it was brilliant because they were jumping out of the water, they were reacting to people on the boat, they could see us, they, were, they go over on their side so their eye can look up at the people on the boat and they were playing and uh, they were young dolphins so they were playing and acting up um, much to everybody's delight. Um, I'm not going to give you a spoiler in this bulletin. Um, you're going to have to wait for episode 10 to see um, the, the footage of the dolphins. The company I went with was a company called Serenity. And I do recommend them because I'm not sure that the other companies would have literally turned the boat around and gone back out. I mean, fair dues, it was the last trip of the day, so he didn't have any more uh, trips to run. Um, but what I liked about it was the boat was uh, fantastic. It's super modern. It was a double-decker boat. Um, on the top deck, it, it did move a little bit, so if you're sort of, you know, um, worried about seasickness, I suggest you go on the bottom deck. But to me, the bottom deck was better because you were that much closer to the birds and the seals um, when you got in there. And it was much more stable. It was no different to being in a car. Um, but a fantastic boat, very modern, had a toilet, had indoor seating area if it was chilly or maybe there was a bit of uh, rain or something. So you, you had the options and plenty of room to move about. Some of the other boats for me were just typical boats, whereas this one, as you can see from the image here, um, is, is a little bit different and I think purpose built for the uh, job it's doing. And certainly the crew were more than helpful um, and uh, very friendly. Um, they don't mind you taking food and drink on the boat. Um, they don't provide it, but if you have your own picnic or a hot drink, um, which are all sold on the harbour side, um, you can take that on the boat. Um, so as I say, that, that would be my personal recommendation. But having said that, to be fair to all of the companies, they're all brilliant. Um, they all do a magnificent job. Um, and uh, as I say, if you're coming to this area of the uh, Northumberland coast, you have to include a trip to the islands. Um, you'd be silly not to include it. As I say, I was extremely lucky because the sea was absolutely flat calm. Um, other days it can be a bit bouncy, but um, as I say, that's, that's um, something you, you should really consider. So, if you've liked this, please give it a like, um, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you're informed of all my latest posts. That's it for this bulletin. I'll see you all again extremely soon, but goodbye for now.